Hello everybody, welcome to game two of Dorf 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 in the qualifiers group B. Um, up against Chugs. Um, I'm going to receive... And, uh, he's dropped the old I'm due to die someone hope it's you um, Elp is in the booth with me thank you very much Matthew Nador um, Elp is in the booth with me so I'm going to hand you over to him so I can concentrate on the match so there you go um, take it away Elp goodbye everybody my arms are outstretched and I am receiving you coming into my care and here we are we have a match that Jimmy is intimately afraid of I say intimately, bouncing off Jimmy's uh, decision to receive, you know, so we're going with that sort of angle during this, this cast, perhaps. Jimmy making modifications here to setups that he did before the game. Spent a couple of minutes at the last minute. Actually, you didn't do, his, you didn't do your attack setup, so yeah. But yeah, he's, he's, this match we're talking, obviously you don't see this section. If you're watching on YouTube, you miss an awful lot of Jimmy's stream. Um, you know, we have these like 10, 15 minute windows where we have a nice bit of banter, just giveaways. We talk about teams and stuff like that. And sheer terror when Jimmy realized that old Chuggers was going to win his match. Talking about how Chug has chosen zero tackle on this team, which would be a dead skill against the Dwarves. The Dwarves having no dodge. But here we are. And hello, Matthew. Hello, chat. That was a quick choice there. Extra reroll for Chug. So adversity, adversity build for Jim off the bat. Oh, Moradam lost as well. That's not good. J5 lost. Moradam lost. Eliod lost. All the good coaches are out, it seems. Here we go. LOS, no removals. Not a problem. All knockdowns. No need for Jim to do a reroll there. Not going to see a blitz. Ball is up, sure hands, getting it done. Excellent, fantastic. No removals, but a solid first turn from Jim. Well, that's that's unfortunate, Mordem. A little bit of shuffling here from, from Chug. Blitz with the mummy. Unpunished. Not seeing followed SE. With that, he didn't free any zombies up. Um, might have been an argument for freeing a zombie up, keeping a right back or whatever, playing it slow here. But the might blow bang on Jim's armor 8. Not a terrible shot. Jim, yeah, I don't think Jim had a blitz target there. The mummies were supported by guard. Obviously, the blitz of mummy is a, an app. Uh, a shitload of thingy. It pulls like a decent number of his team forward. Safe option, I strongly believe, is, is not worrying about a blitz. Yeah, absolutely, Adon. You know, we did touch, obviously, YouTube and scenes, but we did touch upon the half rate help. Because, uh, you know, Jim was going to spare, you know, he's, he's flapping, flapping about his matchup. And I was like, look, mate, I don't call Chug a half rate help. You wouldn't be worried about me playing with this team. Go get it done, champ. Bit of a pep talk. And, uh, yeah. Bit of a slow start to the match here. Yeah? Though I am starting to feel that, I don't, you know, dwarf coaches must be intimately familiar with this. You know that low level fatigue that sets in when you start watching a boring game? That may be starting to creep in. Yeah, you know I mean, I commentated six turns. Jim's last match against Amazons. I think I spent most of it looking at the chat, talking about lizards. But this time, yeah, you know, I'm looking square and center at this match. And it's uh, 
It might be building. <laughs> this is true. This is true. Jim fucking naked. I really should sell those as uh, posters. Nice canvas. Obviously, what Adont is doing now is referring to my own stream. I do stream on YouTube. Not on YouTube, no. <laughs> Fuck that. Um, all due respect. But yeah, this, this is, you know, back to the game. This is very conservative here, isn't it? Very conservative. Do I need a cheeky line, don't I? Here we go. Slow, but they're playing fast. Sub 30 second turns, perhaps? So that's really good to see. Yeah, there, there is no respect here. I think Jim was mostly afraid of the team, not the coach. Obviously, Jimmy's been quite out, outspoken about how he goes into every game thinking he is top dog and going to win. So I don't think it's necessarily a reflection on his opinion of Chug being coach. It's more a sense of uh, a reflection of Jim's ego. Moving the ball up here. Got some dwarves to move in. Is he going to be exposing the armor right here? No. Offset Vengabus. Tagging the Murray, this is nice. This is nice. I think he might have tagged him with armor 8 though, right? The dwarf runner. <laughs> this is true, what oil, you know, he's... Uh... YouTubers will be intimately familiar with that, of course, watching the first five minutes of any video and then skipping to the next video. You know, the first five minutes can can do a lot, you know. First, oh, fucking unwinnable. That's a bit. so it is armor right. Nice, I like that a lot from Jim. Obviously, me commentating on Jim's play and saying he's done a good move is essentially meaningless. But yeah, the mummy is pretty much out of things now, right? But Jim's guard is all centre pitch. I think he he could hit the mummy here. We'll, we'll have to see whether he goes. Oh, it's, oh, it's like that. oh. Yeah, he's left his guard behind. But he can almost definitely free up at least one guard, to, two guard to move over. Should be able to hit the mummy down. Doesn't follow. Now, I think I think we'll, it'd be interesting to see if Jim moves him up. Yes, he does. Yep, that's good. Here we go. Got the two guard free. Of course, it could be something said for perhaps reclaiming centre pitch here, but... It's a tricky one, isn't it? Because the um, the other half of the undead team it is undead that he's facing, isn't it? They're quite mobile at the back there. Oh, straight in with the dawnless. Nice. There you go, didn't even need to commit. Maybe going to shuffle some guard over now. Oh, Jim's team's fine. No, I mean there was there was the guard was mostly centre. Yeah, because he knocked down the white, didn't he, with the stand up blitz. Yeah, I think I think Jim's fine here, really. See, I. I don't think I considered the uh, the hitting there of the the, the stand-up blitz. Hey, help me. How you doing? Hello, Kaz. How you doing, my dude? 
thought I'd um, join in. I'm having a bit. I'm actually working today, but I'm having a bit of a break, and uh, yeah. I'm obviously a keen follower of Mr. Fantastic. So uh, I thought I'd pop in and say oh, a, my favourite co-streamer helped me. All right. Oh, that's that's high praise. That's high praise. Though I get the impression you don't do many street co-streams. You don't do many casts. Do you? It's Actually, no, you've seen you do some casts. So, yeah, no, I, yeah, I, I take yeah, that I've, praise. I'll take that praise. <laughs> I've had a few weeks off, so i um, um, been a bit sick of Blood Bowl 2, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I, I caught, I think I caught your last stream, maybe. You had a league match where it was Chaos on Chaos, or maybe yeah, a match yeah. after that. And, yeah, you're talking about excited for Blood Bowl 2 to be washed away and Blood Bowl 3 to come in. I think we all need a little bit of a fresh coat of paint on this game, don't we? You know, yeah. Uh, whether it's going to be good or bad, we don't know. But anyway, enough of that. Um, I've, yeah, do you know what? Actually, I've just been listening to your co-commentary, and I agree with everything you say. Um, insightful and Thank accurate you. as ever. Um, especially talking about euthanasia and neutering. And stuff, <laughs> yes, you know? yes, yeah. Especially dwarf, uh, dwarf coaches and lizard coaches. Yeah. You know? <laughs> bit harsh but you know <laughs> well, it, you know sometimes you know politicians do this right they they talk about these strong subjects but they pussyfoot around and we can't do that here no. you know i mean it is what it is we've got to we've got to respect and reflect the uh public voice the so i'm, I'm so the i'm looking at, <laughs> i'm looking at this game and it's turn five now um, is it starting to get a little bit twitchy bum for Jim? The fact that he's not passed his own LOS with the ball carrier, turn five? Right, he's about to do it this turn, and he's going to be fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's... This is the problem with dwarves, isn't it? Yeah. It's going to cost the... Yep. Making you out to be a liar. <laughs> 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 to be fair, that both teams have a reasonable shape here, don't they? You know, the undead, uh, they haven't suffered any losses. So, mm -hmm. you know, they've still got a, a, a full team on the field. They've got a reasonable shape. The dwarfs, you were right. Uh, last turn, Jim was in danger of losing position with his yes. guard. But he's yep. maintained that really well. Yeah, no, it's it's good to see. I didn't see the stand-up blitz there. Um, but, yeah, it's good. That was a bit worrisome for me. He's over the halfway line. I think the problem is, though, he's not got any removals. He's done good to keep the mummy tied up on the right, but that's not really helped. The no removals, they still have, like, there's an elf collar back there, right? And yeah, yeah. That's fucking problematic. So if you was Chug right now, I'm I'm looking at the Dwarf Blitzer. Um, mm -hmm. I'm look at, I, I would be looking to probably get my Prone White back into the game. Um so blitzing with that pro yeah white. there we go this this yeah. is the one you're talking yeah. about yep yeah, yeah. there we go yeah he's done it mate problem is yeah he's he's back in but he's not committing because it's just gonna knock down knock down knock down center pitch opens up jim gets forward three squares all of a sudden it's still not a massive concern but he's got a little bit more worry yeah i don't yeah i don't think the mummy on the ball is any good I don't think he could have done right without some dodges. First armor break in a long time. And hello, Antsy. Sorry about that. Your message there one minute ago. Not paying attention to chat. He won his first match in spectacular fashion against Amazons. Really bad draw for Amazons, wasn't it? It wasn't great, yeah. <laughs> not not just dwarfs, but Jimmy Fantastic dwarfs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And the worst thing is, you know, I spoke about this, I don't know if you caught it, but he was looking at that matchup for about a week, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's a long week. Yeah. Um, talking about long weeks, I've had a long week myself. I actually pulled out of today's Blitz Pit qualifier because... Um, well, a mixture of um, work and me thinking I was having a heart attack on Tuesday evening, which was fun times. Oh, nice. Did you have a heart attack? <laughs> no. Panic attack, Thankfully. was it? <laughs> no, it was um, actually an acid reflux issue, of which oh, I'm on well, tablets that's, for now. That's a result. Um, but yeah, I spent Tuesday evening on an ECG machine in A&E, which was oh, fun, 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 fun. Yep. Yep. But, unfortunately for the Blood Bowl community, I'm still alive and kicking and I'm going to be around for a while. So I'm sorry, chaps. Oh, no, man, you'd be missed. 
Absolutely. No, it's yeah, it's yeah, best of all possible results, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I was, so I was joking aside. I was a little bit worried Tuesday evening. Um, you know. Uh, oh yeah, I'm, man, you're getting on, aren't you? You know, it's one of those things. <laughs> Do you know what? Scarily, that is the truth. Um, <laughs> I, I, I think I've got a few miles in front of me still, you know. But yeah, I'm. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah, it's 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 just one of those things, isn't it? That you're like, oh fuck. Injury there for Jim, funnily enough, during that match. Yes, uh, yeah. I'm sorry, I, I don't want to make this about me. So, uh, that's fine. you know, Jim's Jim's Blood Bowl game is far more important than my long-term health, of course. But it is not, <laughs> it, is, it is not more exciting, you know, it's more, <laughs> not a reflection on your, your life, you know, being excited, it's just a reflection on dwarves being dwarves. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's really good to hear that you just had acid reflux. Oh yeah. Have you been vaccinated and all that? Yes, um, I've had my first one. Um, oh, okay. My nice. second one is probably going to be within the month. So, uh, yeah. No, Jim's not in trouble. He's he's fine. It's really slow. Like it's he's in struggle in terms of probably not going to score. But this is okay. Zero zero isn't isn't awful. It's a bit easier to play defense when it is offense as well. Yeah. It's a little bit on the knife edge, isn't it? You know, as I say, the, the undead aren't in horrible shape here. Um, that stun is quite helpful because that sort of refuses the right flank, doesn't it, somewhat? Yeah, it does, yeah. And, oh, um, that armor break helps break. as well. Holy cow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that closes down the right-hand side, really. It's shifting, but Chuck's um, already committed his goal to re-roll here. That passes. So he's committed his, his goal quite far back, right? And that's the person he's going to yeah. be scoring on, if anybody. So he's got the other one a little bit further forward. Jim's got a bit of a conundrum here, hasn't he? You know, and with a minute to play with, um, it's it sort of ramps up the difficulty of solving this issue here. I think we saw a little hint there from what's going to happen. I think he's perfectly fine. Needs to knock down. Or doesn't. No, he doesn't really, does he? No, he actually doesn't. He? Commentator's curse. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Yeah, no, knockdown, not, not having knockdown's fine. Yeah, I think he's okay. The goals are on the thingy. And sideline it. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is hunky-dory. It's going to be a stretch to score. <clears throat> but yeah, yeah, not bad at all, actually. Oh, I don't know. No, I, I don't, I I don't, don't think know. so, Kelsey. I I gotta I gotta slightly disagree. I think uh, he, he had no choice but to take a flank here. But mm. um, surely Chuck can throw up a pretty decent elf screen here. Yeah, he has that speed, doesn't he? Of course. Yeah, yeah. But this might make things a little bit interesting. He's got the people that could make an elf screen. Devil based on the mid on the left hand side, right where the mummy is. Mm. And he's got the single one there, so he's got two, maybe three players. He might be able to punt through. Um, blitz with the mummy. Um, then you need to avoid a one in nine with the zombie hit on the long beard, and then you can free up the white, the ghoul, free up the other ghoul as well. So you could bring four or five people into the drive here, I think. It's not gone with that. Has got a right free. Okay, that's okay. Yeah, that's that's the. Um... Yeah, this works. Yeah, I don't know if I'd, I don't know if I'd have blitzed there. That being said, I don't hate it. Um, I might have even looked to have blitzed the long beard, um, defending the runner. Mm. But I, I don't, I don't mind this. But yeah, so here we are. So he, he's going to be able to throw up a pretty effect, effective health screen here. Yep. Yeah, but he has. Yeah, it's got, it's got his double column. Is he going to go for the scoring threat though? I think you have to, don't you? Do you know what? I, I, I think he's just going to look to stop Jimmy scoring here. Well, yeah, Jimmy, yeah. he's already covered like as far towards the mid pitch as Jimmy's going to go, right? He doesn't have the movement to go that far out. Do you know what I mean? Uh, before you said scoring threat, I would have done what Chug Manmilk has done here. But now, when you said scoring threat, why not run that ghoul up into a scoring threat position? Because Jim's Cause... going to have to roll dice, isn't he? And there's every possibility he fails. Um, well, yeah, he's not loops. he's not changed anything by going there because if you look at the squares, he can go diagonal, right? But he doesn't have yeah. any right-hand squares to go diagonal and then down. He needs to go completely as far forward as he can. 
maximum yeah. movement on the ball carrier. Yeah, I think Chugman Milk's missed the trick there, isn't he? He could have been pretty rowdy there. And uh, Absolutely, yeah. yeah. It's going to be dicey, you know, it's good, but this, you know, the guard, the double stacked other side of the elf column is necessary. But, yeah, I don't think the, uh, I think the goal should have been down for scoring. Because, look, this doesn't change anything. No. Here we go. He made the first one, didn't he? Yes, he did. Didn't oh, make the second one. Yeah. Yep, gonna be <laughs> kicking yourself here. Early oh wow, engine. yeah. But yeah, like I, yeah, like because that goal doesn't change a fucking thing. He no. can't go right. Yep. But absolutely correct there, Elbin. A really good shout. And as I say, being honest, I would have been looking to do what Chug did. Um, but your course of action was the right one. Well, this is, yeah, yeah that, long shot for that Jimmy being Scores said, over here, so yeah, yeah, that being said, Chug mm -hmm. Man Milk has done what he intended to do this drive, which is deny the dwarf score. Yeah, I think maybe like halfway in when the dwarves are still not past the yellow S, I think your thing stops from being stopping the score to I'm going to score myself. Certainly on a team that can break away, like Undead can with the goals. Mm. But yeah, 0-0 zero, zero is good for Jim here, I think. Scoring would have been better, but it's... He's good, you know, defending should be relatively straightforward. Uh, did Jim just drop the GG? He did, yeah, he did. Oh! <laughs> he did. That's fighting talk, that is. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is. <laughs> Yeah, it was a long shot to score, though. So I don't know if the GG was maybe a couple of turns earlier when the stun from the mummy happened would have been the time for the GG. A GG in that situation is like Mickey being in your corner if you're Rocky Balboa when you're losing the fight against Apollo Creed and Mickey goes, I believe in you, Rock. One more round, Rock. You know, that, that's yeah. what a GG does to you. It galvanizes you. It strengthens you. It drives you forward. Okay, okay, I can see that. I can see that. Got quad goals. Actually, yeah, no, that's a point, actually, to be fair. I hadn't really considered that the quad goal making defence difficult. Quick snaps. Why, why, not in a re, why, why not in a res format? Speed kills and blood bolt, doesn't it? Speed, yeah, it does, yeah. You know, speed is great, so four goals, yeah. So he's going to want the eight-turn stall, isn't he? But that's... I think that could pose very similar problems to Jim not getting forward early enough. Yeah, we could be looking at a mirror of the first half, couldn't we? Insofar as, as long as Jim doesn't suffer attrition and losses here, mm -hmm. um, you know, you'd expect Jim's shape to be really good. Yeah, because if it stays central, I mean, there's always the bullshit of the rights dodging out and running because of the movement seven at the end. Yeah. Uh, not the rights, the goals. But... Yeah, I, uh, I think it could go the same way as the first half. Got some, got some information there from Frost, Frosty. Rick's about to go through to the third round. Ogre's about to beat Hellboy's Lizards. Casual eight, Kaz caused. Do you know what? I was chatting to Jim about Ogre's because obviously Ogres are in the uh, Blood Bowl Super League as well. Uh -huh. And I actually think they're really strong in this format. You know, um, they're, they're regarded as being overall terrible, but in single games of Blood Bowl, all that mighty blow, all that strength, mm -hmm. you only need one game of decent dice, don't you? You and do, yeah. And yeah, yeah. They're pretty unstoppable, you know? Um, so I actually, you know, Jim was like, yeah, but they're Ogres, they're crap. And I'm, I'm thinking, well, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But, well, I think the thing of it is, if you roll bone pe boneheads, if you don't, if you just roll your one in six boneheads, if they roll perfectly fine, you're in a really strong position. Yeah. But if you get more than that, then I think you sort of fuck because it's a complete loss of tackle zones and the little noblars they don't help at all, really. But you've got such a potential to skyrocket array in a game. I think against agi teams, ogres are going to be terrible in this format. Uh, yeah, absolutely. You know, if if they run up if they run up against um, sort of without any elf team really, you'd you'd expect the elves to just yeah. have their yeah. way, wouldn't you? But 
Against your slow bash teams? Yeah, Ogres are fucking great. It's yeah. got massive roadblocks, mobile roadblocks. Of course, the added problem with anyone playing Rick right now, Rick's on the crest of a chalice win wave. Um, uh, you know, his, yeah. his balls are huge. So <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh, man, it would be beautiful to see Rick qualify. Because <laughs> this is all we're playing for today, isn't it? Qualification. Yeah. Um, yeah, no. Quite excited. Quite excited to see where Rick's going to go with his things. So yeah, I remember, Rick, you know, when I when I originally streamed two years ago, Rick was doing all this fucking weird enough result to build and shit like that. A bit of a bit of a sort of a stream on the same level as Space. Yeah, you know I mean yeah, the fifty yeah. viewers consistent. You know, doing doing well for himself, playing a bit of meme teams and all of that sort of stuff. But he's fucking skyrocketed and really. Oh yeah, him. Rick's Rick's turned into a really solid player, unlike Space, who's still an absolute shitter. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, love you, you know, space. Love you, space. <laughs> Never change. <laughs> Don't call him Big Dick Rick for nothing. <laughs> Rick probably celebrated his chalice win by burying another body under his patio and storing the head it's in true, the fridge. Yeah. It's true. He's not punched through, has he, old chug? No, although I'm less concerned with chug not punching through in three or four turns than I am because I did say didn't I when turn mm. four turn five with Jim you know is it squeaky bum time um that movement those four movement seven ghouls make all the difference here yeah they, that's pretty big as far as things that can shift the equity are concerned I'm not sure about this the zombie has a free hit on him right I mean it's no block against block but I think maybe the mummy to Bang the guy the right is based to have to start yeah. getting some forward momentum. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure on this. So what does he have here? Potential blitz on the goal? <clears throat> if he wants it, I doubt he takes that. It's pretty difficult to manufacture, isn't it? Well, no, yes, on the the ball at the the ball at the right hand side next to the mummy, freezes guy, guy that's fell on the ground. But yeah, that's, that, that, that's, a, that's a block, that's a blodge ghoul, isn't it? So you'd have to GFI to hit with a long beard. Yeah, yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that. You, I would probably be looking to chip this white here. Deal with the higher speed players. Um, I think that's okay. pretty essential. Yeah. And you know, and then force force Chug to expose these ghouls. Yeah, Don's saying that um, I think Jim can swamp him now. Oh, we just heard that PC's got through as well. That's great. It's really good news. PC, honestly, even with goblins, you just can't write that guy off, can you? He's just no, he's, he's, he's a pretty good coach, all things considered. Isn't no it? one has a right to be that good at Blood Bowl. No one has a right to be that good at Blood Bowl. I'm sorry. <laughs> as much as I love PC. Oh, dear, he's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, pretty handy. Yeah, yeah. So here we go. Some considered thought from Jim here. 15 seconds on the clock. Looks like he knows what he's doing though, so he's probably not going to be panicking. Hello. 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 It's your uh, for the Sound day. Like you're underwater, mate. <laughs> oh, I do. No, no you're good. not now. You're, not you're, now. You're, you're good, now. good now. You're good now. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm done for Blitz Pit for, for the day. <laughs> oh, nightmare. Are you out Through as well? Completely threw it in overtime. I, was, I stayed up all night playing fucking Total War. Well, and nice. I couldn't tell the orcs apart in overtime. Nice. Because <laughs> it was a fucking mirror. It was awful. That's, that's pretty good. It's mm, no, it's, it's the opposite of that. <laughs> How's Jim doing? This is round two for him, right? This is, yeah. It's um, yeah. it's not looking great for Jim. Jim was denied the score in the first half. Didn't get any removals on the undead. Um... I think he left it slightly late to push as well. He was forced to run down the left flank and Chug was able to elf screen him out. Brutal. Yeah, it wasn't... He had that turn where he got took a few stuns, didn't he, as well? Which sort of slowed his momentum on like turn 5-6 when Jim really yeah. needed it. Yeah. 
That being said, this is a pretty good defense from Jim so far. He's kept his shape. Yeah, I think maybe it's a, a good defense in virtue of Chug not pushing. Yeah, I, I, I was. It's interesting that he centralized that mummy. Um, so I, I it's next turn. Uh, oh, is that ghoul a bit exposed there? So he's Spoke finally given up a yeah, yeah, Maya. yeah, yeah. Okay. So what has he got? Mobility rise on the right hand side. He's got the right, obviously, and that's probably about as mobile as it gets. Got the knockdowns. I don't like this from Chug. I no, think he's committed. I think he's committed to the left a little bit soon here. Oh. Okay, that done help. <laughs> I can't believe this is halfway into round two game for Jim. My round one game just ended. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, isn't it? You didn't have any bugs because PCs we, game bugged out all to hell, didn't it? But oh, I don't know. Um, we uh, we went to the the last turn of OT. Uh, it was going to go to kicks if I could have maybe stopped him, but he was up three rerolls to one at that point, so it didn't matter. I think if you're there, I don't think it'd be interesting to know why Jim's pushed the goal left because he's weak on his left side. I mean, he's, he's gone and hit with him, but I think it's it's like quite a simple get both the goals free, or one of them. Can Chuck it's break down, it? down the sideline. Yeah, I think he can. Mm. It's good hairy. It's going to be the biggest potato ever. Oh, Jim's got that sneaky uh, sneaky blitzer, is it, at the back there? Oh, yeah. GFI blitz from the mummy. Yeah, I quite like blitzing through the um, troll slayer here. Doesn't Don't like it as much now. <laughs> yeah. Um, is he committed? Is he committed to pushing now? Is it? Is no. This, uh, he could no, he definitely back hang out. back a, a turn. He's got ghouls against dwarves. He he only needs two turns to blow by him. This oh. is risky, risky business. This feels uh, a little bit potatoey to me. Well, it's <laughs> it's kind of game risky with winning but like i don't know how he's so, gonna guard this ghoul any further there's a there's a blitzer right there yeah oh oh it's a in, three plus two plus to guard it in makes blodge we trust i guess yeah it makes the hard one it's really a three plus two plus two plus well if you can clear this mummy then you can run the um get yeah. the runner around for the assist can't you oh okay yeah, or made, just he made everything the white. <laughs> yeah, he made everything <laughs> oh no I don't, I don't know Chugs well enough to know if he's a potato guy or not. How'd your game go, by the way? Did you win? Or are you out? Yeah, I think Chugs is... Um, he, he does like the odd potato. <laughs> Mr. Tato. Yes, he does, yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, if in doubt, roll dice, innit? <laughs> yeah. Same, same, Adon. Same. I was not feeling it this morning. So, yeah, we've lost you, we've lost J5, we've lost the Dom, we've lost Eliod. Uh, I had a really um, nice offense, too. It's just my, my. I won the toss in OT and I was up a player and I found a way to throw the game away. The only well, real way to win Blitz Pit is to pull out a Blitz Pit before you even play Blitz Pit. Trust me. <laughs> yeah. well, I, honestly, I was I was like, okay, I've got goblins in the second round if I can win, so I should be able to advance to the semis. But I was just like, I, as soon as that OT started, uh, it was just a big scrum in the middle and I couldn't tell the orcs apart anymore. Under, I was running out of time every turn. I was just like, I'm fine losing. I don't want to play three more games of Blood Bowl at best. So just to be clear, um, are you are so coaches that lose this blitz pit, are they able to compete in the next qualifier as well? Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, I, I figured that was the case because um, I actually pulled out of blitz pit today um, due to having a 
weird week and work commitments. That might be the first time you ever pulled out successfully. <laughs> yeah, I know. Tell me about it. <laughs> Where was that joke already made? I'm sure someone probably covered that joke already. <laughs> they haven't actually. No. Um, as usual, Skuro, you're you all oh, over. You all over it. I'm surprised you haven't mentioned. Uh, I was just about to stop yeah. stepping on my dick here. I was just about to say. So Blitz Pit isn't like the SFL, where if you lose you your there? championship yeah. match, you're completely out. For fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chunter. Uh, pretty Didn't... terrible for all of the uh, the heroes of Jim uh, Stream, apparently. But Jim's uh, got a got a wing and a prayer here, but not a great one. Okay. Just one turn of rolling dice can make all the difference, can't it? I'm, I'm glad Squirrel here, Dude, it's a squirrel dude and I are of like minds. Oh, gee, if I got a bit of a <laughs> Alzheimer's cam here. Is Chug. Can Chug afford to give him give Jim free free turns? I think Rip that's what he's thinking about now, isn't it? Shit. Yeah. Rick is the new Blood Bowl superpower, isn't he? He can literally <laughs> play any team. That's amazing. That's it, yeah. Suboptimal, no such thing when it comes to Rick's coaching ability. Must be all that human flesh he's consuming, seriously. <laughs> you have to get your human growth hormone right from the source. Ooh, Jim's Chug. scaring out a potential play for himself here, yeah. isn't he? Chug does not like safe plays, does he? <laughs> <laughs> and that hurts even more, doesn't it? You know, when, when a guy potatoes and then relies on dice to protect yeah. the ball, it just hurts that much more, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It's one thing being outplayed. It's another thing being a little bit outdiced. Yeah. And I, I don't think Chug's dice have been crazy here. Jim's... Uh, attrition dice have been terrible. Jim essentially needed a few removals to contain this undead threat, and he's got nothing, has he? Um, so no, he got he got the one injury, didn't he? But armor breaks have been lacking, and yeah, yeah, yeah. it's been slow yeah. pace, and of course the ghouls are starting to pull away now. But I think Jim does have something here. It needs a bit of dice. <clears throat> yeah, um, uh, the I don't know. It's... Yeah, okay. Kilsey. Um, yeah, Chugs. Chug's dice last turn, you know, um, to um, sort of make the break were yeah. fortunate. They weren't crazy, though, was it? It was not like he was making five pluses, you know, to, to secure the ball. Jim's scrabbling to hopefully get his two turns to score. Oh, no. Oh, you Jim. take that, don't you? Take it, eat it. Yeah, yeah you got to, yeah. Yeah. I don't think he's going to get two turns to score. <laughs> Well, actually, Chug could Chug could put himself in a bad spot here. Mm. I think yeah, you I score. Think, you score here, then you? Yeah, you I score think he's here all score. day. Yeah, I think so. There's just too many dwarves in the vicinity to make. Or oh, you roll a friggin' one d. What the hell? Come wow. on, Chug. Oh, wow, dirty yourself. fucking Dino. Now he's gonna win. Is, um... If he just pulls him down, he does. He gets the full knockdown there. That was disgusting. Absolutely oh, disgusting. Armor break. Yeah. yeah. And that's the game. Well, it's not game. Jim Jim will have a one turn attempt. <laughs> that is absolutely disgraceful. Honestly. I'm looking I'm looking oh, forward dear. to Jim's one turn in one minute. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's not a not a great way to go out. Yeah, that sucks. But Jim did have his reservations about dwarves he mentioned once, uh <clears throat> It's not going to be able to fucking score, am I? You know, you mentioned something like that. I'm not going to be able to win. It's going to struggle to win games. That's so bad. Chug. <laughs> and, uh... Chugs. Everyone, please ignore how I just blocked her. <laughs> Jim looks like he's in no uh, decent spirits, at least. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm oh, dear. Oh, dear. Shit, way to go out. I mean, there is, there's of course the riot, and the, yeah, it's fucking. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's a riot. He can one turn. It's, or Kenny, does he only have. Oh, yeah, Maybe he can you spend this minute slayer, thinking right? about your one turn. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, like, like in, in all Watching, sincerity. 
watching uh, watching PTK's video. Oh, you don't have enough time for that. But uh, Jim's done. Jim's done his setup, isn't he? He, he got his setups all ready to go. This <laughs> one die is a one. Yeah, that's something I forgot to do in my haste is is pre-program all of my defensive and offensive setups that I'd probably want to use. So I was just starting every fucking drive under the gun. Oh, yuck. What a lot of shit. Oh, mate. Hey, Jim. <laughs> hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> Commiserations. <laughs> well, you still got a shot here. You can do the old dwarf one turn. You're just not going to get six turns to do it like you did with the fling. Yeah, I need a riot, don't I? What I needed yeah. was, I guess I had to reroll that dub skull, but I mean, I didn't think he'd want to do it. But there was a chance of him getting away with it, whereas at least if I had a two turn with no rerolls, it's better than not having a two turn at all. Yeah. Oh, that was just shit. I couldn't get any dice on my offense, no dice on my defense. It's uh, it's hard, that, isn't it? When both, both things Yeah, happen, if you don't if you don't get removals, then... Um, especially against a, a team like Undead, it's it's pretty bad news, isn't it? Yeah. That filthy 1D blitz at the end yeah. there during the potato is just disgusting. disgusting. Yeah, disgusting. All <laughs> the dice he made, really, on his, like, you know, he's getting forward turn, he made them all, didn't he? Um, Alright, let's get a rock. Right. at the end, didn't he? No, throw a rock. And that's gonna be game. Yeah, he used a reroll, but he still got all the rolls. Oh, yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? I, that's the thing. Where, and then fucking <laughs> two dice on him. Double skull. He gets one dice. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I don't know. I need. And I couldn't even knock down the fucking mummy. I just wanted to power the mummies, and I just had to board down them every time, and it just made it really hard. Like if I could have just powered the mummies at any point, and okay, I was still getting him down with the board downs, but if I could have just powered the mummy, then I could have uh, pushed forward more on offense. But I just really couldn't. And, uh, Two armor breaks, Jim. That game you got. <laughs> <laughs> Two armor breaks. That's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, that, that's hard, isn't it? That's hard. When dwarves yeah, make two armor later, breaks yeah. in a match. Yeah, that's that's tough. <laughs> oh, Calcium, you went out too, huh? I didn't. Hear. You lost the Colian's goblins, man. No, 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 no. Oh. I pulled. I pulled out. Oh, that's the blitz, right. I pulled out that's the right. pit. Yeah, yeah. That's right. You said that. Yeah. Loads of GFIs, fail loads, fail loads of dodges. So this is basically the dice that my Amazon player, had, my Amazon opponent had in the first round. Forty <laughs> percent yeah, dodges, seventy percent GFIs. And I have no idea what's happened elsewhere in Blitzpit. Oh. I haven't looked yet. You did nothing wrong there, Jim. The dice just were not with you, and that can happen in single games of Res format, can't it? Yeah, that's the thing, wasn't it? That was the thing. Like, you know, and again, like, you know, on my turn, all I needed was a 2D to get to get quite a lot of stuff happen on my breakthrough turn, and I just fucking rolled the push straight away, you know. <laughs> Maybe I should have re-rolled that hit on the mummy to try and get the power, but then, of course, I could have re-rolled into a double skull, so yeah. I just took the push and, you know, tried to make it safe to just get the chance. And, and even then, there was a chance, right? 4-4-3-2-2. Four, four, two, two. There's, there's a chance of that working. It's not that bad, is it? That, the, the sad thing is that, you know, he did the uh, the best possible... There was a 30% chance of scoring after his best possible result of the of the elf screen, which is which is pretty pretty easy score, isn't it, really? 30, like, that's what... I mean, I know you'd take that, but at the end of the day, like, considering how gr just mired in midfield I got, I was quite mm. happy to have a 30% chance to score with no chance of a counter score. And then, yeah, second half, I mean, two, two armor breaks, what can you do? Um, but there you go. Thank you very, very much for the, uh, the, added, the added commentary from Calcium and Scuro. Thank you very much. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh, Hello. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome, mate. I'm going to shoot, shoot on and go back to watching your glorious stream now. So much love to you all, guys. I'll catch up with you soon. Oh, cheers. I would just like to point out that PC beat lizards in the first round with goblins. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, yeah, we saw that they had like they had like six men on the field. So, <laughs> oh, yeah, fair enough. I can't <laughs> believe sure Rick's won two in a row with ogres too. Oh, you got to end your YouTube stream. Yes, I will. I can believe it though. I did. I did call him winning those two, but I don't think he'll win the third I, one. I called Rick winning the first one, not the second one. But he's yeah. got a chance, I think. I think he's Liz got a chance at the Liz third one. This is a bit shit because at the end of the day, they've got six strong boys, but your opponent's got six stronger boys <laughs> so now they're just they're, you know they're not in a good spot other the lizards um and I, f I found it playing with the halflings like the lizards just weren't really good because those strength four guys are only strength three against halflings you know 
Um, and and so yeah, they they really like it. Really seem pretty pretty favorable. Um, I think I think if those orcs beat the necro and Rick faces orcs, he's got a real shot because he's yeah. he's matching them on guard and he's outstrengthing them. Or excuse me, on block. He's and outstrengthing them. Yeah, and they're not mobile to exploit yeah. his weaknesses. And uh, thank you very much, Elp, for the whole match. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. And thanks for watching, everyone. Enjoy. <laughs> Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.